the Minister for Policy and Reform, what conservation areas other than Douglas Head are going to be designated and when? Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Mr. Reply. Thank you, Mr. President. And I thank the Honourable Member for this question as well. Um, as the Honourable Member is aware, my answer says might be aware, but I'm absolutely sure she's aware, character appraisals were carried out some time ago for a number of areas, particularly in the south. These areas are Ballabeg, Craigneesh, Port Erin, Port St Mary, Silverdale, St John's and Sulby. It is fair to say that it would be sensible to review all of these appraisals as part of a broader exercise to draft an up-to-date list of potential new conservation areas. Cabinet Office will clearly have to examine the resources available to undertake the necessary work which is specialised, requiring the right professional technical expertise. Supplementary, Mr. Thank you, Minister, for that answer. Um, and it's, it's heartening to know that his department is alive to the fact that there are um, uh, proposed conservation areas designated as he outlines in the Southern Area Plan and then St John's and Sulby. Um, I would ask, is it not somewhat unfair that these proposed areas um, are now in a, in a state of limbo, uh, whereby when uh, planning applications are made, there's a certain amount of um, uncertainty regarding what policy should be applied in an emerging or a proposed conservation area um, for all involved. Um, and given the matter of resources, when we hear that uh, DEFA has committed £7,653 in this administration, um, w will he undertake that resources can be sought to, 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 to carry on with this very important process? Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Reply. Playing with words here. Of course, the Minister can confirm that resources can be sought. That's uh, um. <laughs> So basically, the, uh, the, the honourable questioner makes a, a, very, uh, a very important point. And to remind the listeners and everybody in this honourable court, the island is well blessed with a rich and varied historic environment. Work is continuing on the expansion of the list of designated conservation areas and registered buildings in recognition of their particular architectural, social and, or historical interest. And within the island, there are so far 250 registered buildings and 19 conservation areas. In addition, there are as many as yet unscheduled and unidentified buildings and areas which are either locally important or potentially worthy of designation. So that's what the strategic plan has said since 2007, and we need to gather together as part of the pre preparation for this uh, multi-year heritage audit, audit a plan, a realistic plan, and I welcome the Honourable Questioner's um, engagement. This is no small task. It's defeated previous generations of politicians. It's defeated us over decades, in fact, and I, I, I welcome the um, Questioner's engagement with this issue and look forward to uh, that more meeting be called. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, I've got to declare an interest of culture van, and I'm not sure, sure whether the Building Cons Conservation Forum can continue the excellent work it's done for five, six years. I think I was the first pioneering member of the Building Conservation Forum, and I'm obviously conflicted to an extent now, and that's why I've stepped back from active involvement, and I've put that conflict now on record. But uh, let's see how um, the, the different bodies can, 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 can agree to be involved in planning that multi-year um, audit that we're now, um, that we're now talking about. Um, in closing, I restate planning decisions under Section 10 of the uh, Town and Country Planning Act are always made in the light of material, um, the material circum circumstances, material considerations. And one of those material considerations is the whole of the strategic plan with its 10 environmental policies relating to registered building and conservation areas. The, the, and uh, and uh, so there is a degree of statutory protection in place already, and I'm abs I know for a fact that those, uh, that, um, that those, uh, those existing appraisals in the past are already taken into account in that process. <laughs>